Hey everybody, welcome back to Rain and Pause. I'm Mitch and today I'm super excited to bring you a brand new product from Fluid Art Co called the Stuck Up Pigs. Now we put out a survey uh, quite a long time ago now and we have been begging Billy and Shelley to manufacture these pigments and these are called the Stuck Up Pigs and they are super, super intense color shifting chrome chameleon pigments. Now these are very different to what's already available on the market because they are such finely ground powders um, and they contain a chroming agent which makes them almost mirror finish um, in their appearance. So I've got three colors to show you. These are the samples that we've had for months and months now and it's been so hard not to show them in videos and in fact some of the artists already showed them in videos uh, but weren't allowed to tell you what they were called. So I am super happy to unveil these three pigments. We have Boastful which is <clears throat> excuse me, which is an amazing green to blue color shifting pigment and I will show you these close up in a minute. I have Pretentious, which goes from blue to green to purple through indigo, so many colors in this one. And we have Pompous, which is a black to red through orange color shifting pigment. So you can sort of see those color shifts there, but I'm gonna get out my macro lens camera and I'll take you down really close up and show you these um, close up so you can see exactly what they look like. So give me a second, I'll set up my camera and we're good to go from there. Okay, so here we have the three brand new stuck up pig colors. Now it's gonna be very difficult to keep saying stuck up pigs, but we need to make the differentiation. These are not the same as the this little piggy line. These are completely different. And there are a few important things to know uh, that make these different from regular pigments. So you can see that the colors, autom uh, like just by looking at them, look incredibly shiny. There are no other piggies that are this shiny, and that's because of the chroming agent. So there are a few things that we have to mention with these and I'll do that before I tilt these colors to show you the color shift because when I do, it will validate everything that I'm about to say. So these are not this little piggy pigments. So the normal this little piggy pigments look like this in the jar and they have the little piggy logo. These ones have a completely different logo, they're a completely different uh, brand and they're a completely different pigment line. So it's important to note that and if you're using them, please try and distinguish between them like we are. Um, and they are only being introduced by popular demand. So people begged and begged and begged, myself, Lisa, um, and all of the Shelley Art community, as well as the Fluid Art Co community, um, we begged to have these pigments introduced and we've got three to start with. Now, these are super, super expensive. When I say super expensive, it's like blow your socks off expensive. We know that, we're aware of that, there is a reason for it. These are not like your regu regular pigments because they have that chroming agent and because they shift between so many colors. So uh, these are about $12.97 $12 US dollars per gram. To put them in perspective, these little bags are three grams, um, very expensive, and I have bought other um, chameleon pigments in the past that don't even come close to the quality of these and I have paid more than $13 US a gram. So just saying these are on the cheaper end of a comparable product and when we say comparable product that means the amount of chrome, the amount of color shift and the amount of amazing mirror finish that these give. Um, not all pigments are created equal and we need you to remember that. Um, to date they're the only full chrome metal based pigments to be introduced to fluid art I'm going to show you a couple of ways to use these. I'm going to smear some into paint. Um, you can use them just like normal pigments, but you have to treat them just a little bit differently. Um, so the colors that I have here are pompous, boastful, and pretentious. These are the first three we're releasing, as I've said. Now I'm going to show you what each color is. So pompous is one of my favorites. It is a black to red color shifting chrome. And I can show you in the bag and then I'll show you in paint. So it looks black here. And then when you maneuver the bag, it goes from orange, um, let me get my color list here. We've got black, wine, red, orange, and gold. And it's very difficult to see. And I'm jo I'll just try and get the camera to focus here. I have to do it manually. Um, but there is an epic color shift when you move it around. So this one is a more subtle one and I prefer to use Pompous by itself over a black base because the red shift is just stunning and it's almost black to Grenache um, if you own this little piggy Grenache uh, when it does get that interference. 
boastful is our turquoise, lime, emerald, indigo, and navy color shifter. This one is one of my favorites, and instantly, as soon as I lift that up, you can see it shift from blue to green, and it's, it's just magical how it does that. So there's the blue, and then there's the green. Like, all I'm doing is tilting that bag, and if you bend it in the right way, there you go, you've got blue and green at the same time. So these are amazing, and look, even in that blue, those color shifts happening down there as well. Um, so these are amazing for 3D textural work, um, just absolutely stunning. Next one, and my favorite, is Pretentious. Pretentious is green, indigo, violet, peach, and gold. So straight up, you see that violet to green color shift happening. Now this goes all the way through blues, it goes to green, uh, one end of the spectrum to the other. Absolutely fantastic, this color. Um, when you get it applied and you get it in the right light, you see pinks, you see peach, you see all sorts of other things in there. And having this in the bag doesn't really do it the justice that it deserves, same as all the other colors. So now that I've showed you those in the bags, let's get some uh, tiles out and we're gonna mix these up and show you exactly what they look like when you're mixing them. Um, because you do have to mix them a little bit differently. You do not need to load them up like you would with normal pigment. So I've got my black tile here, and I know it's hard to see, but it's there. <laughs> and I'm going to grab some varnish. And the reason I'm grabbing varnish is so that we can thin these down into like a thick paste. Actually, I might use some tryout liquid glass because that is almost perfectly clear as a medium. And I'll just use a small amount on my surface here. So the first one we'll mix up is Pompous. Again, Pompous is our black to red chameleon color shift. And I'm just going to grab a teeny tiny amount and put it here on my tile. I'm just trying to, uh, actually, you know what? Let's use the whole, whatever's left in this. So these are just our sample bags. After this, I don't have any more. This is all the pompous I have. <laughs> um, and I've just realized I don't have that anywhere near where the camera is. Okay, there we go. And straight away, you can see that that powder is like a deep red um, as it's sitting there. And I'm going to mix that with some tryout liquid glass. I'm only going to use a couple of drops And then we're going to smear this in. So I'm just using my Fluid Art Co. palette knife here. This is the square one. I think this is number 31. And I'm just mixing that in on the surface, getting all that powder nice and wet with the liquid glass. And straight away, I can see that color. Look how deep dark red that is. It's absolutely amazing. Now that that's all nice and together, let me grab another scraper. There's my other one, this one. And I'm gonna bring that all in. It's very hard on tiles. Okay, and this is pompous. So our black to red color shifting chameleon. And I'm just gonna set that aside for the moment. Now, here is the red and there's the black. So super, super difficult to catch this. No, that's not shadows being cast on the pigment. That is literally the pigment going from red to black. So you can see the black tile there. That's the color black it goes. Okay. So really, really awesome. Like I said, I like using this one by itself, um, just on a black base, uh, but you can use this very sparingly with other colors. Try not to include other colors that are similar to it because you will lose the effect. Um, I do only use this in specific instances, um, but you know, it's entirely up to you how and when you want to use this. So I'm gonna smear this out a little bit more and I'll let that dry and I'll show you the dry result. I'll dry it with a hairdryer so it speeds up nice and quick. Okay. 
and I'm going to clean off my swipey tools. And I will show you Pretentious. So next up we have Pretentious. Now Pretentious is our blue, pink, purple, turquoise, lime. This one is Starning. How much do I have in here? I've got quite a bit more pretentious than I do of boastful or pompous, so I've got a little bit left in my little sample bag. And when I say there is a gram, a gram doesn't seem like much, but when you're mixing it the correct way, it does go a long, long way. So again, let's get a few drops of liquid glass on here. You can also buy the liquid glass from Fluid Art Co. And as always, the uh, pigments, you can find them at Fluid Art Co. as well. Let's grab our little spatula and give this a mix. So this would be great if you're mixing this for use in glazing. Um, if you're putting this over a finished piece, um, you can use the tryout liquid glass as a pouring medium for certain techniques. Um, I haven't ventured into that as much as I would like to, but it is an excellent pouring medium and it dries super, super glossy. So this one here, is pretentious and you can see that glorious purple color there and now let me just show you the stick or the mixing spatula how it shifts all of those colors so let's give this a tilt and watch that happen so there you can see those brilliant blues and greens As it comes closer to the camera, you get all of that gorgeous color shift. And there are certain areas, it's so super, super difficult to show the awesome color shift that comes from it. But it is just phenomenal. Again, on textured pieces, this works wonders, but you can see that awesome color shift. Okay, so let's spread this one nice and thin and we'll let this dry as well. And I'll show you the entire tile with all three colors on there. And depending on the angle that you're looking at this from, so I was only able to show you the green part of the shift, but on the other end is the blue shift as well. So it's uh, chameleons are just so difficult to capture all at once because if I look from the other side, I get blue, I get peach, I get almost a red color as well. It's not as deep a red as pompous, but it's still a really nice, gorgeous color. Okay, and the last one to show is boastful. So if you look on the top camera there, I forgot I was recording with the top camera, um, you can see that beautiful color shift happening up there as well. So the last one is boastful, and I'm gonna flip this around this make it easier for myself and give me a nice clean working space there boastful is our blue to green color shift so we've got turquoise lime emerald indigo and navy this one is one of my favorites like as a powder it just looks stunning like you can see the color shift just in the powder and how deeply pigmented these chrome uh, chameleons are and I've I've got a fair few different color shifting pigments um, but none are quite as stunning just as a powder as this is so with pretentious and boastful I will dust some resin molds and show you some resin work when I get to that this afternoon and then I'll show you how you can use these in resin as well so in saying that let me save just a little bit of this pigment because it is one of my favorites and we don't need all that much for our little swatches here. And like just on my fingers, you can see that color shift happening already. Beautiful. Okay, I'll wipe those off. Now let's get our tryout liquid glass. There's a little bit of that on. 
Okay, and let's give this a mix. So again, this one's boastful. You can get these at fluid-art.co. Green, blue, such a deep, deep color as well. Like, like I said, I own quite a few chameleon pigments, but I've never ever seen any with such deep chrome color shifting. And the particle size is incredibly fine as well. That's what sets these apart and makes them so much better than other brands is it doesn't look like super fine glitter. You don't get individual specs, you get full deep coverage. So here's our blue. And it's super hard to light this as well. I've got some pretty good lighting in my studio, but these are super, super difficult. And there's the green. Let me have a look at the top one. Might be easier to see on top. Deep green. So it's weird because I can see the blue. Like I can very clearly see the blue here and on the macro camera there you can see the blue but on the top camera it's green. Now just to show you that they're being filmed at the same time, here I am waving my hands you know um, and the audio is all synced so green on top, blue from the side. Now let's have a look at these all together. I'm going to zoom my camera back out so look at my macro setup here. tilt it this way. So here are all three pigments at the same time. We've got pretentious, pompous and boastful. And look at that gorgeous, gorgeous shift. Look how dark and vibrant that red is. To get a dark, vibrant red is so, so difficult in a pigment. And then you can see it goes to black. So right where it shifts is there. Pretentious is awesome. Boastful, like I said, one of my favourite colors to use, one of my favorite pigments so far. Uh, it's just super difficult to get that blue color shift happening there on camera, but you can see it in person. So pretentious, another favorite, gorgeous color shifts. Okay, so we're gonna let these dry and I'm gonna show you how to use these in a variety of ways for different techniques. Okay, so I have here two uh, molds. Now these are molds that I was using in cake making, but these will serve just fine for resin as well because they are made of silicon. So uh, I'm going to dust these silicon molds and I will fill them with resin uh, when I do my resining this afternoon. And I will show you the finished effect of these. Now, chameleon pigments, as I mentioned earlier, work better over a black background because that gives the uh, light a chance to shine through it and bounce back and give you all of those awesome color shifting uh, chameleon effects. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to dust the inside of the scales with each of the colors and with the little bit of pompous I have left in the bag, I really don't have much at all, I'm going to dust the tails as well. So for this, normally you would use a small fluffy brush, which I do not possess. Um, so these are just paint brushes that I have in my arsenal and we're going to apply the pigments dry to each brush. So just loading up the brush tip with pretentious and I think I want pretentious to be the small one and I'm just very gently dusting the inside of the mold and I'm not loading up my brush any further than what is here. And I literally just dip that into the bag. There's nothing on this mold. I'm just going all the way up to where the tail joins. And I hope you guys can see what's happening in there. This is the perfect representation of that awesome color shift that's happening with that chrome pigment. Okay, and you can see it's super, super shiny. So when you're dusting, just make sure you get all the cracks, all the crevices, and yes, this will stick to your resin. The resin will pick this out of the mold and nothing will be left in the mold. Now, if there are areas that you are not happy with that you need to clean up, you can use a cotton bud with some isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to grab some cotton buds. Let me find one. Here's my big, big tub. 
Okay, so just spraying some isopropyl alcohol on there. So this is just a normal cotton bud for like a cleaning your ears and just wiping that off the mold and that will come off nice and clean. So this is great if you're using a mold with an intricate pattern and you want to take off certain areas. So if you just want, for example, this scale to not have um, pretentious on there. So I'm actually going to show this as an example. You could use a more detailed, fine pointed cotton tip for this. To just take off some of the individual scales and I'll show you what we can do with that which will give a really really awesome effect okay so you can see in there there are a couple of scales that don't have any chrome pigment on them so the next one I will do is boastful and yes, you can mix these colors. However, you do not get the benefit of multi-chrome. That's not how these work, unfortunately. Um, you can get some interesting effects, but you do not get, for example, those colors shifting into these colors. Okay, so this brush is a little bit fluffier than the other one. So I need a little bit more pigment in there. And this mold is quite big as well. I'm just brushing this in. Okay, so we've got the pretentious, which is our purple, purple, green, blue shift. And then this is boastful, our blue to green. Now you do want to make sure that you get everywhere inside your mold. And this really does not use an awful lot of um, pigment as you would expect. Uh, you can get quite a few molds done this way. Um, it's a very neat way to use your pigment rather than mixing it into your resin. You're actually going to get a better result doing it this way um, than if you mix it in. Now also with Boastful, I'm just going to grab a tiny bit more and I'm going to dab that on the inside of where we had Pretentious and we're going to get a couple of those scales that are going to have the different color shift which is going to look quite cool okay and then likewise I'm going to dust this one with pompous on the tail portion so I'm gonna to have to get right into the bottom of this bag Our molds are all dusted so you can see that beautiful red there's the black look at all that amazing color in there okay so let me mix up some resin we'll pour these and then I'll show you the dry results hopefully in a couple of hours now because resin is self leveling it's very important to have a nice level drying area and I'm just going to torch my bubbles with a long neck lighter never use a blowtorch with silicon molds because you can burn your molds and fuse your resin to the mold i've had it happen and it ends up with you having to throw away your mold okay so i just do a light torch with that and then i've got my spray bottle with isopropyl alcohol in there i'm just going to give that a light spritz and that's also going to help pop the bubbles so we're going to let these cure for 24 hours and we will demold them once they are ready i'll pop these onto my drying rack and i'll show you the final results
Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to show you with these chameleon piggies is how different they are mixed up in pouring medium compared to a regular pigment. Uh, so if I just grab one of my other colors here and I'll show you this. So this is this little piggy ore. And if I grab the jar for ore, when mixed into your untinted pouring medium, the color should be exactly the same mixed up as it is in the dry pigment. So here is this little piggy ore. You can see it's that gorgeous pale gold color, which we all know and love. And in the jar, it is the same, same gold color. Very difficult to sort of show this, but they look exactly the same. Now with the uh, SUPs, the stuck up pigs, because they have chroming agents added to them, they look very different mixed up and you definitely do not need as much pigment um, to get the color shifting effect. So in my little jars here, I've got mixed up pretentious, pompous and boastful and I have given these a little mix. Now pompous is that deep dark black to red color, but when mixed in my pouring medium, it is more of a milky sort of color here. This is perfectly normal, okay? So it is going to look just a little bit paler than it should, but it will dry, as long as your pouring medium dries clear, it will dry that gorgeous deep cherry red color. That one there is pompous. Next up, we have pretentious. Now, because of the chroming agents, some of them mix up very similar to the color and some of them do not. Pretentious mixes up very similar to the color of the powder in that you can see all of that color shift happening there. So pretentious is one of the ones that will look very similar. And then lastly, we have boastful. Now boastful does look relatively like what the dry powder does, but still just a little bit paler. Um, you saw the dry powder, how vibrant and vivid that is. Um, this doesn't look that vibrant or vivid, but it will dry the same as long as your pouring medium is perfectly clear. So that's why I've chosen the tryout liquid glass to do my mixing experiment because it will dry nice and clear for us and we're going to get the best accurate representation of what these colors will be when they're dry. So speaking of, I'm going to quickly speed up the drying process of our sample tile and I will show you the final result of that before we wrap up this video. Okay, so these chameleons are now completely dry. You can see them here on my tile. And I do have my macro camera going at the same time. So I'm gonna film top down and then with the macro. So here are all of our colors. We've got boastful, pompous, pretentious. So let's see if we can get some awesome color shifting happening with these. If not, I'll have to change my camera angle. So as we tilt up, you can see that there we go. There's that gorgeous blue. So this is one extreme of the color shifts. We've got that amazing deep blue, bright orange and peach. And then as we lower this down, you'll see everything start to shift. So there's our dark red. We've got the uh, deep blue starting to turn green and our color over here in pretentious is going pink. As we lower it down again, we've got almost full green, super deep Grenache red. We've got our pinky purple to violet. Now we've got full on green. That red is starting to go that deep black. We're going for the paler violet over here. As we keep coming down, we're now getting back into our blues. We're almost full black here and full green on this side. Although the angle that I'm looking at this from, I'm now getting full blue. And as we come down flat, we get the palest and furthest extreme of the colors. So if we bring them this way, we start to shift back through those colors. And in fact, pretentious goes even further with that really deep, let me get myself out of the way or put myself in the way to try and get that color there. It goes that deep pink on the other end of the spectrum as well. So if you can manage to get these two colors uh, to show up together, they're absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so those right there are the brand new line from Fluid Art Co called the Stuck Up Pigs or SUPs for short. 
Um, as we mentioned, they are super chrome chameleon pigments and they are very expensive, but so, so worth it in the right applications. So I showed you the swatches on a black tile. I showed you how to dust a resin mold with them and that when you mix them into your pouring medium, they may not look the exact same as what the dry powder does, but don't worry. It is a matter of just experimenting with your pouring medium because they can be so different all around the world um, to find out what the correct pigment load is. And my advice with that is start very, very small. Start with 50 milliliters of pouring medium only and use these very, very sparingly. A little does go a long way. Um, I have purchased uh, five grams of chameleon pigment from other suppliers previously. Um, a friend of mine in the States had a brand as well. Um, and five grams lasts a very, very long time. I can honestly say these compared to the other pigments I have used, they just blow them out of the water. Um, the chrome, the mirror finish, even these are uh, semi dry now, or almost completely dry. Um, they're so glossy, so sparkly, and the mirror finish is just amazing. Um, now, we do have a release date. Let me get that up on my phone for you. Uh, what have we got? So, they will be going live on in all locations from Fluid Art Co. Uh, so, in the USA, that's 3 p.m. Thursday, the 20th of October. Uh, what's that next Thursday? Thursday after. Uh, Sydney, Australia, 9 a.m. Friday, the 21st. Manchester, the United Kingdom, 11 p.m. Thursday, the 20th of October. Uh, Toronto, Canada, 6 p.m. Thursday, the 20th of October, and Hanover in Germany. Sorry, guys, it's 12 p.m. midnight on the 21st of October. So uh, I think that's not this week, the week after. Two weeks from now, these pigments will be live for purchase, and you can go absolutely hog wild with these. So if chameleon pigments are something you want to try, but you're not sure if you'll use them a lot, um, the one gram portion size is absolutely perfect, um, and they're a great little way to dip your toes into the world of chameleon pigments. Um, they're three amazing colors that you can use to start off with and over the next uh, few weeks I'm hopefully going to be doing plenty of pours with these and showing you how uh, color combinations that these will work with um, So that they stand out as well as complement the other colors in your pores So guys can't wait to see what everyone can create with these amazing super chrome chameleon pigments And I can't wait to see what I can come up with them as well Don't forget guys if you like what I'm doing don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye